an update now on a story we brought you earlier this week on the villages of Kapole, where after nearly 25 years, maintenance on the streets and sewers, those streets and sewers have yet to become the city's responsibility. Today, the Honolulu City Council heard resolutions introduced by Councilmember Kimberly Pine that call for clear-cut guidelines from the city so developers know exactly the process needed to immediately get their roadways, sewers, and parks dedicated to the city. I get a sense that this administration wants to end this cycle, and they're acknowledging through their own investigations that we have failed to help the taxpayer in turn over these uh, projects. And what has happened is you have lights that can't be fixed in certain developments, you have roads that can't be fixed, and so really the taxpayer suffers. So we're hoping that with these resolutions passing, that they, this will never happen to anyone again. The full council today approved Pine's resolutions. As far as Kapolei goes, the State Housing Finance Development Corporation has hired a consultant to begin the process of getting those roads ready for dedication. And the villages of Kapolei, not alone. According to the city, there are 116 subdivisions by major developers that have yet to be dedicated to the city. They include parts of Royal Kunia, Sea Country, and parts of Mililani Malka.